What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my YouTube fam. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. So today we've got a pair of Luke Wharton shoes. Now these are brand new. The guys bought them online on eBay for a really decent price and decided he doesn't like the red bottoms. So what we're going to be doing these is converting them from the rubber to leather. He's seen a couple of the videos and he likes the way that the leather's finished on the shoes. So that's what we're going to be doing this time around. So keep watching to see what it's all about. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So we're just going to start the breakdown process on these looks. Seems a bit of a shame. I love the colour red, so red sold to me is pretty nice, but what the customer wants, the customer gets. So we're just going to take off this old top lift. We're just going to remove this old heel block. It is a leather stacked heel block. Lokes 1880 range seem to use these. It's a bit better quality than some others. We're going to be reusing that. We're just going to clip off these old nails. And then we'll be able to remove them from the inside of the heel. And before replacing them with some new ones. Alright, so we're just going to use the bands here and we're going to break all the old stitch in this there. She's picked, so we're just going to remove the old nails from the inside now. Alrighty, it's glue time. So what we're going to be doing is gluing up the shoe here, gluing up the old midsole, and then the new sole to go on top of all that. Thank you. 
Now gluing up this noose so the leather is going to be really hungry so it's going to eat all the first layer of glue so we're going to pop back once it's dry and pop a second coat on and then it should be good to go Just stick this midsole on now So now we're going to stick the sole on. Alright, now it's time to get groovy, so we're going to use this groover tool here, and we're going to cut a channel, tool 360 around the shoe.
that's a noisy machine. Right, so we've got our original heel block and we're just going to score a little mark so we know where to rough up on the machine. Ready for the glues. There we go. Right, so we've got the new top lift on the old heel block. It's uh, a combination with a Vibram rubber and some leather. And with me using the original heel block, the new top lift is about the same thickness as what the one we took off. So the balance and the pitch of the shoe is spot on. We've got these threaded nails here that we're just going to pop in the heel just to secure it even further. See the difference? It's about a neutral polish can do. Thanks again so much for tuning in. You guys are the reason I do this and you are all badass legends. All right, so these were brand new. Had red bottom day night soles. The guy bought them online, didn't like the red color. So we've switched it out for a nice tasty leather sole. So yeah, what we done was um, some nice fudging around the edges and on the sole just to give it a bit of pattern. We done a Vibram combination leather heel. And um, this isn't something that we do in branch. So I had to create that myself. Looks pretty nice, I'd say. We went for a, another natural edge finish 
put a bit of a shine. Also on the stitching we matched the original stitch length on the machine just so that we hit all the original holes in the welt. So yeah, guys drop me a little comment, let me know what you think about the job. If you haven't already, hit that like button because it helps other people see this. We need to get this out to the masses. Alright, so until the next one, you guys are legends. I've been called Burgi. Peace.